Hey guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we'll see how we can configure GitHub webhook in multi-branch pipelines in Jenkins. If you would have done already the webhook setup for the pipeline job, it will be so simple to select the webhook trigger option in Jenkins and do the webhook API in the GitHub for that particular project, then it will be done. But in multi branch pipeline, it will be a little different, and we are dependent on a multi branch plugin in order to scan the webhook. So let's see how we can do the setup. Let's log into your Jenkins server, and what you have to do, let's go ahead and create a job. New item, just give uh, like webhook demo, something like this, and let's select multi branch pipeline select multi branch pipeline okay just give a name uh so display name suppose i'll give us github web look demo right and give description as for your things and what you need you need to add the branch sources here so the branch source i'll get it from the git select here and project repository git project repository so suppose if i just go to my github project repository here i have a demo project uh, repository created that's called demo finance dev let's go here what you need to do you have to just copy the url copy the url go here put the url over here and as it is public we don't have to need we don't have to provide the credentials leave it here and uh, discover the branches okay how you want to discover the branches this is most important select add here and here what you have to do filter by name with wildcard right select it okay here it is given as star so make sure which particular branches do you need to get it so suppose i'll just get the feature star and then release branch so these two branches i want the jobs to be created for these two branches right so now, now let's go ahead come down okay so here what you can see here we have this scan multi branch pipeline triggers how you want to trigger the multiple multi branch pipelines so we have options periodically if not otherwise run or we have the scan web so normally what happens if uh, you are just doing it the first time you'll see this particular option will not be available for that what you need you have to set off the plugins first install the plugins let's go ahead go to manage jenkins plugins and here uh, in the available plugins you have to search for multi branch multi branch right pipeline multi-branch so already i have installed this plugin so if i go to my installed plugins okay so if i just go to my installed plugins i search for multi-branch so you can see here we have this multi-branch scan webhook trigger multi-branch scan webhook trigger suppose if you're not sure which plugin you want to install it so what you can do you can just google it here webhook for multi-branch pipeline so you'll get this particular multi-branch scan webhook trigger and this is the official website plugin website of jenkins.io right click on this and you'll see the plugin details here so this is a multi-branch scan webhook trigger and it has given all the details how to set up this plugins okay how to install and all so that is what you can see here i have already installed this multi-branch scan webhook trigger plugin for your case you have to go to this available plugins and search multi-branch webhook so you will get this trigger and just install it so once you install you will get the option whatever i was just showing you right go to the dashboard so github webhook this is the multi branch job right so you can see here as soon as i save that job it got all the branches it got all the branches whatever is there in my repositories you can see here in this repository i have four branches right in this repository i have four branches 
master feature 1.0 feature 1.1 and release 1.0 so as per our wild card we have done the setups right based on that only feature and release branches got captured right so you can see here there are three jobs been created with three branches feature 1.0 1.1 and release 1.0 what we have to do we have to set up the webhook so how we can do that we go here webhook system here go to configure page right now you can see here so yeah mul scan multi-branch pipeline trigger right so we have this scan by webhook select this one and here it's just allowing you to here it is just asking to give a trigger token so this token we need to pass to the webhook api so give a token name suppose i'll give a demo hyphen token here right demo hyphen token and if we one if you want to see how you have to use it just click on this question mark for health right and here it gives this the token to match with webhook token receive any http request so you have to provide this particular into the github repositories webhook api okay so let's go to the github your particular repository which you want to set up the webhook for the multi branch, right? This is a particular repository. Now let's go to the settings over here. Under settings, you can see here webhooks option, right? Select webhook and here select add webhook. So here you can see we have this payload URL. So the payload URL will be our what will be our Jenkins URL. Let's copy this Jenkins URL until the port number 8080, right? Let's copy, go to here and paste it here. So we have this Jenkins URL. Now we need the API URL, complete URL API URL, you have to provide it here, right? So if I just go here, it provides first Jenkins URL. We got the Jenkins URL and we need this particular multi branch hyphen webhook hyphen trigger slash invoke and the token name, right? Let's copy this particular part, go here, add it, and what up your invoke token equal to so this token name you have to provide. So, what is the token name? Here we had given the token name. Let's copy this one, go here, and put the token number token name here done demo hyphen token that's all let's select send me everything for the demo let's add webhook so you can see here i selected and just created a webhook and you can see immediately you got a tick mark this is the first time when you set up the webhook it will ping the jenkins server and make sure it is connecting and working fine so if i just click here you can see go to recent deliveries and you'll see it here the ping right so it has just pinged it now let's go ahead and here what we can do we can save this one as once you select this particular part now let's save this one so what happens as soon as you save it the scan multi-branch pipeline will start running right if you see here all the jobs will start running and then you can see here it is success right uh, let's see let's go to the job and here we have three jobs again if you see here this is the same, first time it has run right now let's go here what do we need let's do a testing right suppose in the release 1.0 let me do some changes in release 1.0 let me do some changes and let's see how it automatically get triggered by the webhook so where i'll do let's go to the github go to the repository and here uh, let's go to the release 1.0 branch and let me add something in this Jenkins file okay let me edit something in the Jenkins file I'll just add one more over here echo release branch is triggered release branch is triggered okay so this is what let's commit the changes so as soon as i commit the changes what will happen automatically a github webhook trigger will happen so if i just go here you can see 
uh, this particular release branch, right? If I go here, see the second release branch at 15.35. Just now it started, right? So if I just go and check the log, see here what happens? See, this is the comment we had added in the Jenkins pipeline. Release branch is triggered. Now let's check the webhook logs. What has happened? Let's go to the settings, go to your webhook and select this particular webhook. It is sent deliveries. See, now the second also got a tick mark like the success, right? And it has an event of push. So it has a push event. So as soon as we push the code into the repository or committed the code into the repository, the webhook trigger automatically happens. This is how you have to select the webhook in multi-branch pipelines. So you can see here, if I just select only this, see, we selected the multi-branch for the entire repository, right? But if I just go here for feature branch, it has only one run, right? Well, only I updated the release branch. That's why in the multi-branch, only the release branch got triggered. So few of uh, my uh, students, they have asked me questions like, uh, if you set off the uh, GitHub webhook, whether the existing branch will get triggered or not. So here you can see, right, the particular branch, whatever you work on and do the push or commit, that particular branch will be executed as part of the webhook automatic trigger. So don't worry, the rest of the branches will be as it is. You can see here, it has only the initial trigger, right? No second trigger has been done. Only the release branch has it. Hope you understood clearly how we can set off the GitHub webhook in the multi-branch pipeline. So if you have any doubt or any concerns, please do write me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your queries. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when I add more videos on my channel. Thank you.